Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Here's a quick throw caught by Higgins. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Only three yards on the catch. It. It's third down. Check hot route. Hot, hot. Ready. They'll look to throw here. This will be caught just inside the 10. That catch moves him over 100 yards now for this wild card game. And a first down as well. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. From the two now, second and goal. Second and two. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. And this one is right through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no oh, run back oh, here. Oh, this oh. will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Taylor. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Back to throw. He's got Smith here. And able to rip off a big ready, chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 38. The give to Taylor. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. 
So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, Let's right, go, go. baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. They'll run it now out of the gun. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments Adjustment. time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second and six. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Watch the run, watch the run. They'll set up a throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that, puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this one complete to Smith. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw here. The open man is Smith. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Let's go, let's go. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Now officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. This quarterback now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks very much. The playoffs are... There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And no run back it, here. Baby. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Give them 14 yards there and a Denver first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Taylor. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Check, 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 check. Get. They're going to look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice. Or maybe even routes versus air. Because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 47. They run the counter. It's Pierce, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Second and 13. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Complete. Smith has it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This will be taken very short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now back to throw. And it's complete. Henry, his first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. All day, just like that, just like that. Get it. They'll look to throw. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. 
And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. 70, Indy. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Bang, bang, bang. They'll set up to throw. Complete. It's Henry. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll drop to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. We play to win. Let's go. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take here over here. here and for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now the second down throw on target. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Ready, ready. 30 base. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 85, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Here we go. Be grip, be grip. On third down, Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall yeah, right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On, we'll baby. call that a Let's punt go. of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Texans on, will take over with a first and 10. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. Let's see if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 18 Gator. You don't want this. Sit up. Get it. Go. They'll look to throw now on first down. Go. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Set. Ten Lobo. Right there, right there. 56. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Here we go on second and 12. And caught by Henry. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Oh, baby. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. The Texans on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. He'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game.
Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. A gain of three, second down. Double tight, guys, double tight. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The Broncos on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. And this one hits at the one, continues on go, into boy. the end zone for a touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. We so how about this. the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going yeah. into it. Not necessarily no, to not get no. the first down or to, got, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> well, we'll see what his offense can do. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Second and three. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Okay, baby, let's go. Let's go. Back to throw now on first down. This pass complete to Higgins. And it's a fumble. It's picked up by the Broncos. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. So a great play there by the defense. If these guys are going to advance, and it looks like they will, this defense a big reason why. And they love carrying the mantle for this team, don't they? You see the way that they move around out there? They want to lead this team deeper into the playoffs and hopefully onto the Super Bowl. And that return for a touchdown certainly helps that cause. The extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Fielded about a yard deep, and he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. So they won their division and earned the right to play at home in the first round of the playoffs, but this one is not going to script so far. Nowhere did they have the thought process that they'd be down double digits. But the on, good six, thing is it's the first half. You and I know, I mean, you've been with me long enough now. Hang with the game plan. Stay the course for a while. Don't panic and change up things. Keep grinding. Long way to go in this ball. Game. That was my question to you. You don't throw everything away at this point. Stay on course. Well, stay on course. Obviously, you want to eliminate the things that have caused you to be down double digits. But at the same time, you're not getting it all back in one play. Keep going. The game plan was put in there for a reason. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back, they can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Mike's 56. I don't even know why this team showed up. 56. 
My step. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Broncos. A nice little juke. And oh, at the end of it, he stripped. Ball comes loose. Here we go, here we go. 15 line. 15 line. They'll run on first down. It's Taylor. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Yeah, baby. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, Hard to start him up again, so I think he may want to keep him cranking high right here. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will be very That's close it, to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Try to punch it in with Taylor. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this Texans defense stands tall. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow. Talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear people protest out of them. That's just who they are. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. That second down run, a big help as seven yards leaves them with just a third and three now. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. They'll look to throw here. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. He completes it to Henry. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And he'll give it here to his running back. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. So the Broncos coming out now and checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. On first down, Taylor. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long from Houston.